In recent years, Uzbekistan has created favorable conditions for the development of the private sector and leading foreign companies in the industry. As a result, projects to expand the potential of renewable energy in Uzbekistan are being successfully implemented. For instance, solar power plants were commissioned in the Kermana and Nuraba districts with a total capacity of 200 megawatts. These plants have so far generated 1 billion kilowatt hours of green energy. United Arab Emirates must die has completed the construction of three modern photovoltaic stations in Juzakh, Samarkand and Surkhandari regions with a total capacity of 900 megawatts. Additionally, the first stage of a wind farm with a capacity of 500 megawatts was built in the Tomda district of the Nawai region. We have invested in Uzbekistan since 2019. We've connected the first uh, solar project and the largest in the region, a uh, solar project in Nornavoy. Uh, and now, uh, after that, we started the construction for four projects. Uh, the largest wind farm in Central Asia, Zarafshan, a project uh, with 500 megawatt, uh, as well as three solar projects with a total capacity of 900 megawatt in uh, Jizakh, Samarkand, and Shirabad. We are celebrating the connection of those projects to the grid, which means we will start injecting green electricity to the national grid of Uzbekistan. We also have signed the implementation agreement for future projects with the government of Uzbekistan. Two gigawatt of wind projects that will be the largest wind farm in Uzbekistan and in the Central Asia uh, and uh, around one gigawatt hour of uh, solar storage batteries. Uh, on top of this, at the end of last year, we won two projects, uh, Jizakh and uh, Bukhara. Those two projects will be solar as well as with battery storage. So all of those projects are a demonstration of Muslim commitment to the Uzbek government, to the Uzbek people, but also demonstration of the Muslim capability to fast track delivery of those projects and support the government of Uzbekistan to achieve its decarbonization target and carbon neutral target by 2050. We decided to come in Uzbekistan and we decided to expand expand our investment to Uzbekistan because of the environment of investment we see here. First of all, the reforms which has put in place by the president are, uh, we've seen the result of it. We lived the result of it, being the one of the first investors who entered uh, Uzbekistan. Um, we see that also those reforms are stable. Uh, there is uh, stability in the uh, institutions. Uh, there is support from the different institutions we see here in Uzbekistan, the governmental institution that allow us as an investor to have very friendly environment uh, to do business uh, and, and, and to, to, to invest further. In addition, another green projects are being implemented by Chinese companies. I'm so excited to be attend this kind of activity. Mm -hmm. And actually, we are just pay our whole attention and works to uh, help the projects on time to be uh, commissioned. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much, Uzbekistan, to give us this this kind of opportunities to make more cooperations in the future. They give us so you know so opportunities in the future to do the cooperation between China and uh, Uzbekistan, and they also give us that, like the strategies and the directions in the future how we can make the energies in the future. The president of uh, Uzbekistan. I just mentioned next year, our chairman, Mr. Xi Jinping, will come to here to talk and communicate with, uh, with the government very, very um, formally mm -hmm. to discuss how we can do the cooperation between two countries. Mm -hmm. So, you know, uh, we just, as the enterprise in China, we just want to pay our all attention to support this kind of cooperation, make success in the future. Mm -hmm.